Hi, hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel, Reef Adventure. Today, I want to talk about the future planning of my dream tank, a Red Sea Reaver 425. But first, if you're new on this channel, my name is Jiriam, I'm 25 years old, and I just got my dream tank, a Red Sea Reaver 425. On this channel, I want to take you with me on my reef adventure. Also, I really want to thank you guys because my latest video with Milo just took off. I'm really amazed by that. So yeah, really, really thank you. I would love to form a bit of a community on this channel. So uh, I want to invite you guys to actually comment if you're enjoying a certain kind of video, just like the previous one uh, with Milo. Also, I want to set a long-term goal for this channel. I would love to start a road to 1K subs. But for me, it is important to not only grow this channel, but the main uh, thing for me is to actually take you guys with me on my reef journey, because I'm not the only one learning uh, from this experience, but uh, I really want to enjoy, let you guys also enjoy and take you with me on this reef adventure. So please like, subscribe, help this channel grow. So now we can finally start on the actual video. Well, as reef tech owners, we all know the importance of planning ahead to ensure the health and the success of our coral and fish. One of the key aspects of future planning for my reef tank is researching and selecting the right species to add. It's important to consider compatibility, space requirements, and the overall health of the tank. Okay, but I decided to make it a bit more difficult uh, for me by letting uh, Milo choose a certain kind of fish. Um, I believe he chose the purple tang, Midas blenny, flame angel fish, copper band and the cleaner shrimp. And uh, so what fish do I want to add? Well, I was thinking about uh, some eel-like fish. Um, a moray wouldn't be a good consideration because it will maybe be eat uh, shrimp or a smaller fish. So I decided to uh, maybe add a convict blenny uh, or an engineer goby. <laughs> it's, it has uh, some different names. Also, I was thinking about a royal grandma or maybe uh, a fish that schools a bit. I know there are no uh, really schooling fish uh maybe herring but that that is a big school of fish and uh that doesn't fit in this tank but maybe some uh fish uh, species like antius of or chromis but i'm a bit doubting about that but maybe there are some other species that i didn't think about maybe you uh, know some kind of species that you actually like to add but can't add it yourself in your own tank so please comment down below if you know uh some interesting species. But what about corals in this tank? Well, uh, I'm planning to make it a mixed reef with mainly LPS like torches, coniopora, uh, frog spawn, hammers, uh, favias, well, you name it. Also, I want to add some easier SPS uh, and maybe in the future I want to add acropora. Maybe there will be some softies in this tank, but uh, it will be mainly uh, LPS and SPS. And I also like to think about uh, any uh, potential upgrades or equipment uh, additions that could benefit my reef tank in the long run. Uh, whether it's a new protein skimmer, a lightning system or dosing pump. Well, actually I will need a dosing pump uh, soon because I saw my KH is a bit declining. So uh, I'm adding it now by hand but uh, I really need a dosing pump and it will probably uh, be one uh, from uh, Red Sea but I just don't know uh, which method I use uh, I will use uh, maybe uh, these are uh, easy these are uh, because I think it will uh, work well but planning ahead uh, for these upgrades can help maintain a thriving environment for my aquatic friends Moreover, setting goals for the growth and development of my coral and fish can be a fun and rewarding part of future planning. Whether it's growing a certain species of coral, breeding, specific type of fish, having clear goals in mind can help guide my, my efforts and keep me motivated. 
So, in conclusion, um, I'm planning to make my tank a mixed reef, mainly LPS and a bit of SPS. And I will add the fish uh, that my Milo chose uh, for me. Also, I'm planning to add a convict blenny uh, and maybe some a bit schooling like fish like Antius or Chromus. And finally, I will need a dosing pump soon. All right, thanks for watching. And please, if you like the video, like it and subscribe. See ya!